All right, I've done a couple of their videos like this in the past, but I'm gonna go for it again. This one I'm gonna do a little spin on it. I haven't ranked the Scotty Camerons that I have down here, the putters in general, that I have on this wall over here in like, you know, a one to 10 type of deal. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go through all of them, you can check them all out, and at the same time, I'm gonna rate them from one to 10. We're gonna start from the far right side. To be honest, door number one, we got a Scotty Cameron Studio Select Squareback. Pretty decent feel, I mean, weight's pretty good on it. But as of right now, this is our number. This is the best part. Second up, we got to select Golo. Not really sure how I feel about this one. It was not too high on my list of putters. Okay, moving through to one that's a little bit older in the collection. I know this one. This one's a really cool putter. This is the, uh, the Scotty Cameron Napa. Very, very slim, very small. I mean, the, the look of it is really cool. The feel of it, I mean, I mean, when my what's in the bag, I said that I added my tape to the bottom of my Scotty Cameron head now, because I felt like it was too light. From a playability standpoint, I mean, I don't really know. From a look stamp standpoint, it's like a 10 out of 10. As of right now, I think we're gonna have to bump the Golo back, or the select one back, I'm not really sure what it's even called. And I think this one's coming back. So this one's in top spot right now. Just solely off the look of the putter. It's a really good looking putter. Next up on the list is a standard Scotty Cameron Newport 2.5. This is gonna go in the number two spot. Next up, we're gonna be looking at a Cameron and Crown. This is a pretty sweet putter. I mean, I still have, we still have the plastic on it, both on the grip and the, and the, uh, the head. So, I mean, when are we gonna use it? I'm not sure. But I've never really put with it, never really tried it. I've had I hit putters that are the same model, per se. Uh, so I'm just gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right over here because it's a little bit nicer than the, I mean, it's a lot nicer than this old Scotty Cameron, like, you know, square mallet head. I think it's a lot nicer than the select Golo head, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so as of right now, we got three, six, we got nine putters left to go through. We got another five that are already done. So top five have been established. This one I feel like is gonna be a nice one just from the weight of it. Yeah, here's another good Scotty Newport 2.5. It's the newer model. I mean, this one is just, this one feels really nice. I feel like this one versus this guy, these ones were lighter than these. These ones are, these, this is the same style I have. I just have the 2.5. It's the, uh, the router neck as opposed to the cutoff neck um, or the squared neck. But this one I'm gonna put ahead of the first select putter, so that's gonna be in the number two spot. All right, next up, oh, this one's pretty sweet. Scotty Cameron Newport three. This putter's sweet. I have nothing bad to say about the Newport three. I've never used mallets in one at tournaments. I struggled a bit with them, but um, this one's gonna go here and run in between the Cameron and Crown and the old Select Square uh, Fastback. This is a Golo 3, very similar to the Newport 3. This one's gonna go right beside it, probably just below, because I like the Newport style a little bit more. Very cool head cover, actually. So this is a California Sonoma. It's the first of 500, so I guess 500 were made, and this is the first one of them. Pretty nifty putter. This one for, I guess, the serial number on it, and you know the cool head cover. I do like, I do like the feel of it. I, li I like these, I like this grip on it, the black grip versus the red one. I'm gonna put this. This could probably go right below the Cameron and Crown. That's right below Cameron and Crown. All right, so we got five more putters left. We already got our top. Top nine established, or nine putters established. And I can tell you this one's gonna be going pretty close to the bottom as well. This thing is way too big. I'm not a fan of it. It sits pretty closed in my opinion, just like holding it to the ground. Like I have to consciously open up the face to even try and get it open. I'm not a fan of that. Like I wish I could get the camera to a level where you could actually see this, but the face is literally probably four or five degrees closed. Just by letting it sit flat. This one could be the worst one of the bunch. Concept X. This is a new one. I think this was in the previous videos. Wow. 
No, this is a Newport 2. Point, like 2.75. I don't even know what the hell they like call this. It's kind of like my putter, but it's not fully like my putter in terms of the wing here, but in terms of the whatever these airplane wings are, those are pretty cool. I'm gonna give this one a bit of a run. Let's see how this is. I like the line at the back. It looks like my, my putter. It's very light. Now that may just be to me because I've been swinging a putter that's probably, I don't even know how many more grams heavier than a, uh, my, a regular putter. But yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of the, the airplane wings are. I don't want my ball taking any flight, so I'm not, I'm not totally in tune with the concept. That address kind of looks a little bit funky, I'm not going to lie. From like pulling out the head cover, it looks pretty, pretty slick, pretty solid. But um, I, don't know, I think this one's gonna go right over here. I'm not gonna bump the top five yet. Mm. Top five. This could be a top five killer. This is called the combi. I remember my dad got this back in Cuba Island a long time ago. Now this putt is the only mallet of actually a putt. This thing is awesome. Cash from the combi. This putter looks so good at address. The lines on it somehow just all make sense. There's one line that goes diagonally or you know horizontally on the face, there's another that goes vertical. But somehow, I mean that roll is so good. But somehow it just just manages to make super good contact. It feels so soft off the face. When I just come here and hit this thing, it's perfect. Speed's perfect, the weight feels perfect on it. This is probably one of, in my opinion, one of Scotty Cameron's best putters he's ever made. So, I mean, based on that series of analysis, I would figure that you can probably guess which putter I'm gonna be putting as my new number one spot. Now the last two putters are technically the same, just different color. We just got a Cameron Futuras. These are also a very, very interesting putter. The sound is very, very cool. I personally wouldn't, would never use a putter like this in, in a tournament or a competition or even probably around the golf, but I can see the, the allure to it for some people. My dad was a big fan of this part. Feels really good off the face, I'm not gonna lie. There's just a little bit too much going on in the back for me. The sound is really cool though. All right, last pub with the Futura. That was a big roll. All right. So I'm just gonna put both the Futuras because they both are technically the same thing. I'm gonna put both the Futuras in the uh, five and six spots, knocking the Sonoma out, or actually knocking the Sonoma out of sixth, bumping it down to eighth. All right, so just to recap here, first place we have the Combi, really, really good putter. I guess they're one of my favorite Scotties of all the time. Second place, we got the Napa. Very, very small blade. Only on the second spot because of the look. I'm not a huge fan of the feel, but I can understand why this is a very, very popular putter. I'm just not that style of putter anymore. I like having a lot of weight at the bottom of my putter head. Third spot, the select Newport 2.5, the Newport 2, my apologies. Third spot was the old select Newport 2. Fifth spot was the Cameron and Crown unopened Scotty. Never had a problem with it before, but just off the uh, color scheme I really like and off the same similar models that I've hit before. I think it's a, uh, a good putter. And six and seven were the, both the Futuras, pretty much. So I really want to put them up. In eighth, we had the California Sonoma, I believe it was, or was it just the Sonoma? Yeah, California Sonoma. First to 500. Good putter, just overall, not the biggest fan of the shape. We had the Concept X with the airplane wings on the back of the 2.5 head. And then we get to the Golos. So here's the start. Uh, here's the Newport 3 ref, uh, round faced head. 
and then I believe this is the Golo 3. Like these aren't bad putters, I'm just not a fan of this style. I've never really hit them too well when I've used them. And then we got the Select Fastback, I believe this is. Square back number two, sorry. And then time for like the worst putters. You got the select round back. Don't get this putter. You got the select golo. No good again. I would stick with the combis and anything above here. Maybe, maybe a select or a guy Newport 3 with a little bit of round back. I don't like big putters. Big putters get in the way of making putts. That's the end of the video. Just went through all of these. I mean, all the Scotties from 1 to 10. I'm sure there's, by playability means, there's a different order, which I can do again, but off overall aesthetic and just general perception and how it feels at a dress after not, you know, holding them for a couple of years, I can rate this, uh, that list that I had pretty well. I mean, the combi felt absolutely different than any putter on this wall. By far, you know, hands down. So that's the end of the video. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Do like, look if you did. Uh, and yeah, have a nice day, bye.